in this lecture i'm going to explain about ambiguity in grammar ambiguity in grammar means if you could able to draw more than one parse tree for the given input then the grammar is ambiguous so i'm going to explain this with an example so a question is written over here check whether the grammar is ambiguous for the input symbol 01010010 and the non terminal used in the grammar is s yes, and input symbol used in the grammar is 011 and there are two productions one is s tends to s1 s another one production is s tends to 0 and the start symbol here it is s so i am going to start solving this one so first i am going to write derivation one and its corresponding parse tree simultaneously and the input symbol i have rewritten here so that it will be easy for me to explain so since my start symbol is s i am going to start with s and the first character i need here is 0 if i substitute s tends to 0 i cannot able to proceed further hence i am going to choose s tends to s1 yes the same thing i am drawing in diagram now first character i need here is 0 so instead of this first s yes, i am going to substitute 0 now i completed first two characters the next input symbol here it is 0 so again i'm going to substitute s tends to s1 as as i need the next character as 0 so instead of s yes, i'm going to substitute 0 so now i completed this four characters the next character i need here is 0 but if i substitute s tends to 0 i cannot proceed to next so i'm going to substitute s tends to s1 as So instead of this s yes, i am substituting s1 as now next character i need here is 0 instead of s yes, i am going to substitute 0 now i completed up to this the next character i need here it is 0 so i am going to substitute 0 instead of s yes. so i got this input 0101010 let me try with second derivation now i'll explain derivation to in different method and i'm going to draw its corresponding parse tree here my input here in this grammar is 0101010 so i have to start with s and now if i substitute 0 i cannot able to proceed further hence i'm going to use s tends to s1 s So instead of s yes, i have substituted s1 s yes. now i need first character as 0 in the previous derivation i have substituted s tends to 0 now there is one more possibility also i can able to substitute s tends to s1 s yes. so instead of this s yes, i am substituting s1 s yes. and the next is 1 s yes. so as i have three ones one more time i can able to substitute s s tends to s1 s here so i'm going to substitute s1 s again instead of s so s1 s and the remaining 1 s 1 s so i got three ones here so i'll draw it in past three also and the next input i need here is 0 So instead of s, yes, I am going to substitute zero. So it will be zero one s, yes, one s, yes, one s. Yes. So I completed first two character in this input. So instead of s, yes, I have substituted zero. Now instead of uh, second s, yes, I am going to substitute zero since I need a zero in zero. So I'll substitute in this diagram also. So now I'll substitute in derivation also. So I completed up to this zero one zero one. The next character which is an in input is zero. So instead of this, yes, I'm going to substitute zero. So I'll substitute in diagram as well. Instead of this, yes, instead of yes, I'm going to substitute zero. I'll substitute in diagram as well. So I got this input symbol now zero one zero one zero one zero. So if I see this diagram, past tree one and past tree two, the diagram is different. If you see first level, I'm having yes. In second level of this diagram, I have yes one yes, and here also yes one yes. But in third level, I can able to see some difference. Here it is zero yes one yes, 
but here it is s1 s s1 s so this pass one pass three one is different from pass three two hence this grammar is ambiguous so gram if if you could able to draw more than one pass three for the given input by using this grammar so here we i have drawn more than one pass three for this input hence this grammar is ambiguous now i'm going to remove ambiguity for this uh, grammar so i have taken that same question which i explained previously to eliminate ambiguity so same input i have taken same grammar i have taken here so now i'm going to eliminate ambiguity for this grammar so s yes, tends to and there is no special algorithm for this so let me explain how to eliminate ambiguity in this grammar so first production in this grammar is s tends to s1 s so i am going to write s if you see this production after arrow i could able to see two s here so one there is first after arrow first non terminal is s again i have one more non terminal here it is s so when i find the second non terminal as s then i am going to substitute some other non terminal instead of this s so it's up to you you can choose any of the non terminal i'm going to choose non terminal as a so whenever you introduce new non terminal then write one more production for that that is for making for continuation so we'll be writing one more production whenever i introduce new non terminal that is s tends to a now next step is so i completed first production the next step i have to go to the second production so in second production i should not start with s my new non terminal which i introduced that is a so i have to write it over here as next production instead of s yes. and the non here there is no non terminal hence i am going to write zero so if there is non terminal then again i'll start the name with that non terminal same non terminal a here i have i don't have any other non terminal hence i completed here that is a tends to zero so now i eliminated ambiguity so let me check whether I, i i have eliminated ambiguity for this grammar for the same input symbol so let me explain here so my input symbol is let me derive this so since s is start symbol i have to start with s now i i have two option in front of me either i could able to use s tends to s1 a or i can able to use s tends to a if i use s tends to a i can able to substitute instead of a i can able to substitute zero and i cannot able to proceed further hence i have to use only s, ten, s tends to s1 a in this derivation so instead of s i have substituted s1 a and i need first character as zero so but i uh, i have two option if i substitute s tends to a instead of s if i substitute a then my next input will be 0 1 0 so i cannot able to proceed further hence instead of s i'm going to substitute s tends to s1 a again same problem occurs hence instead of s i'm going to substitute s1 a so now the next input symbol i need here is 0 here i have got all this one now i need only 0 so instead of s i need 0 so but so if i want to, if i want zero then i should substitute s tends to a as i said previously it's for continuation i have given introduced one more production so this is the reason i have introduced one more production so s tends to a so it is instead of s i am going to substitute a now next input symbol i need is zero so now instead of a i could able to substitute zero hence it will be 0 1 a1 a1 a so instead of a i have substituted 0 next again i completed up to this 0 1 next character i need is 0 uh, so instead of a i am substituting 0 now i completed up to this in this input and remaining left over is 0 1 0 instead of first a i will be substituting 0 and in the next step instead of second a i will be substituting 0 so i got my input symbol that is 0 1 
zero one zero one zero. After eliminating ambiguity in grammar, I could able to draw only one pass tree. Hence, this grammar is un unambiguous. So let me give name for this grammar as G dash. So G dash consists of two non-terminal is used. One is S comma A and sigma used here is zero comma one. And these are the production rule. And S start symbol here it is S. And hence, as you could able to draw only one pass tree for this G dash, hence this grammar is unambiguous.